decades in prison after police say a two-year-old boy overdosed on fentanyl. The two are charged in Polk County Court with child endangerment and numerous drug crimes. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley joins us live now in studio to break down the disturbing details. Bailey. Yeah, Justin Stacey, when first called into 911, police were under the impression they were going to save a choking toddler. However, once on scene, officers say they quickly realized that was not the case. And instead, they were dealing with a toddler overdosing on opioids. First responders administered Narcan to the two-year-old and were able to revive him. Now, court documents say Samantha Jackie Mart told police she and the child's father, Taylor Paul, were addicted to fentanyl. She admitted they used fentanyl around 4 Thursday morning and then passed out. She said she didn't know how the child could have gotten into their drugs. Meanwhile, Paul told police not only are the couple drug users, they also sell fentanyl to several people in the community. Court documents say the couple bought nearly 130 fentanyl pills in Dilworth Wednesday night, like they do multiple times every week. Paul admitted they sell most of the pills to different people each day out of their East Grand Forks apartment. Now, according to court documents, when police executed a search warrant on the unit, officers found several items, including 26 M30 pills, fentanyl powder, and hundreds of dollars in cash. Now, Justin Stacy, those M30 pills are significant and they're very dangerous as those are what are connected to a lot of overdose deaths here in the Red River Valley over the last few years. All right, thank you, Bailey. Uh, still unclear, by the way, how that